Hello and welcome to Basic Computer Help. In this episode I'm going to do a review of the GoPro Hero 3. Some people have asked me to do a review on it. I have played around with it. I got it over Christmas. So I've had about close to four months to play with it. Um, the first thing I can say is I actually enjoy it. It's a great little camera. It's got its drawbacks. Like I don't use it as a general camera. Because um, one thing I like in my general cameras is a little LCD on the camera. And as you can see, you really don't get one. You get a little one that tells you how many pictures and stuff you've taken, but ultimately, you don't really get any way to preview directly on the camera. So I'm going to stick with my uh, current Sanyo Zacti. Looking to upgrade that very soon, uh, probably next month. Um, and my Nikon camera my Nikon DSLR camera. Alright, one thing I do like about this is, well, one, very close, is it comes with a waterproof case. This actually does not have the waterproof backing, but you know, you, it has a waterproof case that you can get with it and use it in water. It's also designed for more sporting event, um, sporting areas. Like, um, I got, I bought a mount for it for my bicycle. It's got a lot of stuff for that. This is more for sports and action shots than a general purpose camera. And it does action shots very, very well. I was going to do a video where I compare this to the Pile Sports um, camera that Toad and K has. The problem is, is that one camera, the action camera from Pile Sports, which was the PSCHD60. Uh, we couldn't get his to work. He's got a Mac, and one thing I do like about this is I didn't have to install any special software on my Windows computer or his Mac computer. Uh, I did not have to install anything special, and I was able to get all the files on here to work perfectly. I also have an app on my phone that'll uh, control this like a remote. The only thing I don't like is the app connects to this via Wi-Fi. So I have to directly connect this to the Wi-Fi here, on here, and I don't have any internet on my phone. I would prefer a Bluetooth option, but that's one of the only downsides I see, one of the few downsides I see uh, to this particular camera. Uh, the other downside is the actual Wi-Fi on there oh sorry on here is actually lags on the phone so uh, you can't go okay shut it off uh, sorry hit record start it right now and then start immediately you have to wait I'm gonna say about a second or two now some people are gonna go but that's just a second or two but that matters that does make di a difference so uh, another thing I like is this takes remarkably good video um, for the this thing's size. I figured uh, when I saw this, my mother got me this for Christmas. Uh, this is just the Hero 3, the lower end of the Hero 3, but it's still really good. I mean, uh, I when I first opened it, now I've heard of the Hero, followed up on it, but I never actually seen one in perspective. And when I saw the size of this, I didn't think it was going to be all that great with the specs that it has. But it's actually just remarkable. I have a couple of vlogs on my vlogging channel where I shot it with this in, in testing. I also have a lot of test shots that will never make it on the internet. And uh, yeah, and this did remarkably well. I could buy an add-on for this that allows me to attach an external mic. Um, it's got a door that covers the actual plugs. It's got an HDMI plug for out to the TV, and then a little USB plug. Um, I think that's Mini B, not the Micro B that I'm more used to. Um, and then it takes a Micro SD card. I the only thing that I really didn't care for, but I adapted, is I had to get an adapter for it. That's no problem. And even at that, this does remarkably well hooking it up to a computer via that USB plug and getting the video off of it. It recognizes it as a drive a lot of times on the computer. The battery life on this thing is excellent. I've played around with it and played around with it and 
in the three months, I've only charged it once. Maybe I'm not playing with it that much. I don't know. Well, correction twice, because I did have to charge it when I first opened it. Um, maybe I'm not playing around with it hard enough. I don't know. Uh, but the fact that it lasted as long as it did is remarkable in my opinion. In the summer, I intend to do some vlogs on my bike with this thing, because I do want to continue trying to get into shape. Um, my basic computer help videos are going to kind of not be as fast as I want them to be. I got a day job. It's a part-time job, but they're, they're scheduling me full-time hours. Um, I'm not complaining that's more money for me, but it's given me less time to do videos. I also work midnight, so I can't do a lot outside right now. But if there's anything you guys want me to do a video on, and I do have a request on what do I look for in a camera, and what should you look for in a camera when you buy a video camera. So what I want to ask you guys, my audience, when you guys go out to buy a camera, video camera, still shot camera, it, I don't care what kind of camera, what do you guys look for in a camera? I might incorporate that in my next video where I talk about what I think you should look for and what people look for in cameras. Until So until that video is out, see you next time.